This is the Pal Talk News Network. The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on Blip TV and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments. Whether you agree with yours truly or not, no retribution. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show, and I recommend to you that you check early and often, like voting in Chicago, at paltalknewsnetwork.com. That site is updated constantly throughout the day with news and views from perspectives and locations around the world that you may or may not see, hear, or read in the mainstream media. As I pointed out uh, just prior to the beginning of the show, we just posted a brilliant piece by Ellen Ratner, who heads uh, the Washington Bureau that we are affiliated with, Talk Radio News Service, uh, uh, about the dichotomy in how uh, we treat returning troops who are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. She points out that there are just some great, cutting-edge, tremendous programs that have been established, but that there are also cases where they are badgered under the guise of so-called treatment, screamed at, suck it up, soldier, that kind of thing. And uh, it's really a terrific read, and it shows that the military has to get on the uh, everybody on the same page and put our collective arms around those that we've put into harm's way and make them whole again, if at all possible, upon their return. Interesting story. We also moved on the Pal Talk News Network site that I thought we might uh, talk about together today. Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian Authority chairman, undoubtedly because the perception right now happens to be that uh, President Obama is not acting very favorably toward the Israelis, is suggesting that the Israelis and the Palestinians agree to appoint Obama, President Obama, as the arbiter of uh, a peace treaty, which would also presumably include boundaries that might be more favorable to the Palestinian point of view than the Israeli point of view. Um, actually, it's almost a good idea if it actually allows for there to be a, a, a binding two-state solution, which, by the way, is something that the Israelis ha have supported and the Palestinians have at every opportunity derailed. Uh, but the real issue in my mind is how can you do this without considering Hamas? Because... There are two Palestinian territories, one run by the Palestinian Authority and the other by Hamas. But it's an interesting concept, nevertheless. I'm sure uh, it's not one that the Israelis would necessarily want to embrace, but it might actually force there to be a two-state solution, which would force the Palestinians to recognize the existence of the state of Israel, maintain their own communities, and uh, recognize borders that they actually accepted. Don't think it'll happen, but it's an interesting proposal by uh, Mahmoud Abbas. And one other part of this that I should point out, and that is that Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, has been imploring Abbas to come back to the negotiating table. And he has not. Probably because he gets far, much further in, uh, negotiating in the court of public opinion than he would at the negotiating table. Jerry in Florida, welcome to News Talk Online on the Pal Talk News Network. Good afternoon, Gary. Uh, I hope I'm coming through okay. I read that article and I posted a reply. I don't know if it got to you or not, uh, because I couldn't sign it for some reason. It wouldn't allow me to sign my name to it. 
First of all, Obama's standing in Israel is zero. It is not that he is inclined towards the Palestinian side. He is strongly in it. There are two things that will completely uh, negate this. One, Mahmoud Abbas, who incidentally is the last survivor of the leadership of the Munich massacre. I don't know whether you knew that or not demands portions of Jerusalem. This will never happen. Never. Secondly, a two-state solution assumes that there is a second state to negotiate with. There isn't, nor is there any unity in that second state. If Obama says tomorrow morning the sun will rise in the east, you will have half of Israel getting up early to check it. To appoint Obama as an arbiter is like uh, trying to get arbitration between a man and his wife and appoint, appoints the mother-in-law as the arbiter. That's insanity. Thank you. Jerry, I want to ask you, you believe that uh, Obama is clearly on the pal Palestinian side of this equation and I'm wondering if you might want to take that a step further for us and answer this question. Do you believe this is because President Obama truly believes in the Palestinian cause over the Israeli uh, right to exist with secure borders? Or do you think that this is, as some have suggested, an attempt by the administration to publicly appease the Muslim world in the hopes that it will cut down on the anti-American rhetoric and possibly make us less susceptible to uh, terrorist attacks by militants among the Muslim population. Well, in answer to your question, uh, I believe Obama is strongly inclined towards the Palestinian Muslim side. Let me give you a little indication of that, if I may. Do you know what is happening today at the White House? Yes, the most important thing the most important thing that happened today at the White House, and it was carried live here on the Pal Talk News Network, of course was uh, the president greeting the world champion New York Yankees. <laughs> no, no. There is a conference in the White House supporting Muslim entrepreneurs. Muslim entrepreneurs. Where is the separation of state and church? Do we have a conference supporting Buddhists? Do we have a conference supporting Mormons? No, we have a conference supporting Muslim entrepreneurs. Now, on the other side, if you think or if Obama thinks that by going to this he's going to ameliorate the hatred for us by fanatical Muslims, I'm sure